I am indeed live. This is a very brief one. Um, I've been, I've been out, um, and I've been to a, a few charity shops, and I thought well, I might as well show you what I bought because it's taken me a while. I found look, shopping in charity shops to be getting increasingly less efficient. Um, just the amount of time for what you find sometimes is remarkable. Don't get me wrong, I still love going out, but there's a time factor involved. <laughs> Um, but I've got a few bitsies, so I thought I would show my few bitsies for anyone out there. So, um, yeah, it's not all today. Some was from, um, yesterday. <laughs> yeah, better than the budget. Well, that's not difficult to do, really, considering how utterly tedious and boring the budget is. Um, what have I got to show you? Well, that's a cuff and a half, isn't it? Actually, I put it on the wrong way around. Uh, no, I haven't. There we go. Very Wonder Woman, isn't it? It's enormous. Sadly, not silver. Um, but I like—I I just like selling these big tribal cuffs. And it was a pound, so why not? It's enormous. <laughs> well, I'm sure Josh is thoroughly enjoying um, the budget. I, I can't bear, no, I haven't got time to sit and watch things like that. <laughs> Just no. Um, I'm sure they'll tell us what it's all about. Oh, people are coming in too. So, of course, it's good afternoon to Lex, uh, good afternoon to Swamp Picker. I've seen that name from a, from a ways back, yes, over in the pond. <laughs> so it must be quite early in the morning for you, I would imagine. And hello, Claire Plant. <laughs> um... Yeah, there were some bracelets that were a pound, and that great big one was one of them. I do like a faux tortoiseshell, and this seemed like a nice nice quality one. Um, just a nice cuff again, but it is actually, which I didn't realise, uh, it does say hops. Christmas brooches. Actually, I sold a Christmas brooch. It was like a little parcel, enamelled, and that sold um, the other day. So there's definitely a, a sort of gift buying flavour in the air, which obviously means I should be listing more jewellery but well yeah we all know how that plays <laughs> it's a very slow process for me um on to sure i had something else that was basically shaped you know you just look around and go ah oh, i can't remember what i bought uh so for one pound fifty i got i do like a tribal this is a very lightweight metal tribal silver tone but it is by laura ashley that's quite nice quite jingly you've got a cute reindeer 719 yes that's early that's quite early in my book <laughs> well done swamp picker for getting out of bed <laughs> oh i love this these are sort of acrylic or lucite and they've got little sorry you can't see because my face is in the way They've got these little sparkly bits inside. I just thought that was all the fun. Probably not my style, but it had a slight mod kind of flavour to it, I think. I'll try not to give them a bonus hair, though, because nobody needs that. Um, yeah, I really like these. It's it's not silver, sadly. It is, it's silver plated, but I still thought that was kind of cool. Just because I like the style. I, I, with jewellery particularly, I, I generally buy things that I quite like. <laughs> Is that a real time? Um, the other thing, I did pay £2.50 for this. And maybe I shouldn't have done, but I'm really having trouble getting decent stock, as the title says. Charity shops with literally floor-to-ceiling bags, but somehow the stuff, the new stuff, is not getting out. I thought it was very cute. This is a chunky monkey. I mean, that is quite a size for a buckle. And but it's a nice leather one, and it was unusual because it was a kind of a double one, and it's orangey. It's 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 looking more like a tan on the on the screen, but it is actually very orange. Um, doesn't have a brand, which I find odd. But I know chunky belts are doing quite well, and and this is uh, Linnea Pell, so that's just. I don't know where that comes from. I keep thinking Linnea is a Debenhams brand, but this, this isn't the Debenhams one, I'm pretty sure. But quite nice and a good size. 
oofed. <laughs> An oofed from Lex. That's always a good thing, I find. I think Lex and I have got very, very similar tastes when it comes to jewellery. <laughs> well, no, we, should, we should never shop together because that would be quite dangerous. <laughs> right, what else have I got here? Um, do I think what I've actually got here? Not very much, but I just thought, oh, you know, go on and go live. Uh, Goose Island, which I think is a half decent brand. It felt nice. Get my fat fingers out of the way. There we go. Goose Island. This felt so soft. And it's one of those kind of poncho y, huge, oversized, kind of jumpery things. It felt so nice and soft. Sadly, the fabric contact label has been removed. So I'm going to go and see if I can find out more. <laughs> we do have very similar tastes. There's things that we like to wear, and then there's stuff that we like to pick out for people. Um, this was £2.50, so I may have overpaid. But like I say, there was very little in the shop. I mean, there was a lot of stuff in the shop, just not stuff I would like. Um, obviously, being half term, it was also quite full of small people. It's quite irritating when you're trying to look. That's what I thought. I'm sure it was you, Lex, that said about Goose Island. And it's one of those, you know, kind of sort of yuppie type brands, I think, as we would have called it back in the day. Um, but it felt nice. And it's slightly mad. <laughs> when I was a kid, we actually had a carpet a bit like that in the house. It's quite disturbing visually. Um, so I will find out what that is, because I'm sure that's got some value. Um, oops. It really is a very small hole. I've, I've actually got a contractor who I need to get in touch with because I've been offered a pick of their shed which sounds kind of like quite revolting, really, but given that she's got lots of clothes and things in there, could be very good for me at very good prices. So I need to get in touch with them and actually sort that out. Now, this is... Oh, let's get the tickets out because they are pointless. I picked this up because, although it's not branded, it says it's British wool. And it is one of the, an itchy, scratchy British wool poncho probably quite vintage and it's cable knit to boot so it's it, yeah it smells it smells all right but you know you know how wool kind of has that that is very much not reminds me of, of a smell of sheep there's something of the sheep about it not my choice not something i personally would wear but i know that people do now this was a find <laughs> Ew, small people yeah <laughs> mm. Right, great colour this, velvet, and it's Laura Ashley Vintage. Now this says, where does it say it's made? Because that's normally a giveaway. Okay, this doesn't say where it's made, so this is slightly later. This might have been toward the end of the 80s. But I liked the style, it's sadly quite small, but the colour is amazing. It's a bit lady dye, it's got the puffy sleeves, and I thought someone would probably rock that really well. Beautiful condition. Really doesn't like it to be more cupboardy, <laughs> sheepy. I have got the hubby sounding, can you hear? <laughs> um, bless him, I didn't, I didn't drive him to it, but uh, he's fixing the stair spindles, which started to kind of come out at one point, so he's replaced them, done a fantastic job. But then he put all the little bits that go in at the bottom that hold the spindles in place and something went a bit horribly wrong with the glue so there's a bit of sanding and redoing um yeah <laughs> one of those oh yes this was a buy from yesterday and it was two pounds and i think it, it's a oh god isn't it dull i think really but it is and it doesn't it isn't missing the button it has one on the bottom more scratchy wool <laughs> you can't get in here to be under my feet. You haven't seen the state of the floor in here. It's absolutely horrific. Um, hand knitted wool, cardigan, granny style. Not one of my things. Yes, I made a right mess now. This was fun. I, I overpaid for this, I think, but I was in Seven Oaks now. Anyone that knows Seven Oaks in Kent will know it's very shishy. Very overpriced, and I don't normally bother going there, but we went there for a bit of a shopping trip to get essentials for the man and the boy. 
um, in Marks and Spencers, and I found this, and I know this sort of style is always popular. Very boho. It's a kind of a, uh, again, beige. What is it with beige? <laughs> Faux fur line, very boho, Afghani style. Um, coat. It's a canvas. It's not a not a faux suede or anything. This is from Warehouse, and it's a size 12. So I kind of figured I should do all right with that. I need to get that on quite soon. Really cosy, but doesn't actually do up in, on me. Uh, what else have we got? How is everybody? I mean, are you enjoying your, your Wednesday? Um, I had a lovely time last night um, doing Laney's Spanish Bin with many, many friends. Um, absolutely fantastic because, of course, this whole week money is being raised for um, Mind. And of course, I haven't got the link because I'm stupid and disorganised. However, it, Lex, if you know what the link is for, for the Just Giving page, I'd be grateful if you'd stick it in if anyone's interested. Um, because I think they're going to raise a huge amount of money. I think last year we raised a lot of money. This year's going to be amazing. And of course, we have a, a Saturday and Sunday, there's, there's an auction going on, and there's a is a 90s night and uh, an auction on the Sunday, I believe. Now, sadly, the Saturday night, of course, being me, at this time of year, the, the witching season, I'm otherwise engaged. Typical. Um, but uh, you can buy lots of raffle tickets and, and I'm sure someone will pick things <laughs> pick things out for me if I'm fortunate enough to win. Because we all know I'd want, I'd want Lexi's selection of bits. <laughs> um, but, yeah. There's some lots of events going on, and it's been fabulous. And I finally got to chat to Susan Badwolf, <laughs> like for real, <laughs> because we've never actually kind of had a chat. It's lovely, really nice. Bless you, Lex. Thank you. Um, this is a kilt. It's a man's kilt. It's not one of those stupendously heavy ones, and it's it's quite creased at the moment. So that's the backside, obviously, with all the pleatage, and that's the front. What an unusual colour, though. It really is a stunning colour. It was in with the ladies' skirts. <laughs> Susan's all right. I, I think she's brilliant. I have a lot of time for Susan. She's fantastic. She did a good job organising the banish bin and being clear about what we needed to do. This has got nice leather bitsies to hold it all together in the right place. There we go. It's got ones at the side here, too. So that's a man's one. And I think there's a lot of people this year who are going to want to celebrate New Year in quite some style. Isn't it amazing? Now it says in terms of size, it's, a, well, it's got a label, tiny label in it that says 32. And it says it's 100% wool, so I'm assuming it's vintage now. 32, that probably would fit, if a lady was going to wear it, that would probably fit a 14, I'm guessing. No, it's... I mean, it's a bit adjustable across the waist, isn't it? But that looks like it's a, yeah, it is measuring as a 32 waist, which is fairly generous because you don't always get big size. This might have been one that someone was married in. Who knows? I mean, weddings are going to be a thing next year. Um, I've got at least two to go to already, and I'm not of the age that I generally get to go to weddings. So that was fun. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of hoping that some of the stock and dresses and things that didn't shift so much this year will for next year because I think weddings are going to be quite a thing next year. My sister is getting married in November and I've got another friend's getting hand fasted um, on Midsummer's Eve. I love this. Oh, oh, there you go. Can you see? This is a perfume bottle and it actually has much better cut. I mean, if I get something white, I might be able to see the colours behind it. This is the professional knot. Right, here we go. Right, what you can actually see is it's got sort of two two tones. It's got a turquoisey blue and it's got darker blue in it. Lovely. And a really quirky, unusual shape. Um, there was a label on the bottom. Clearly, it is vintage because it's got the, some wear on the bottom. It's fabulous. And can you imagine having that on your dressing table in your boudoir with an intact stopper really nice i paid two pounds for that but i didn't mind because those colors are just magic to me i'm always 
drawn against them. Exactly. <laughs> okay, I, I mean, I'm actually married myself. I'm hand fast with that now. So I did it twice to the same person, needless to say. My worker in the hallway. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I had a real issue with weddings and for quite a long time. But I think if you do it on your own terms and in your own way, and they are a lot of fun to go to because you get to bop and you get to dance. And that's the thing I like the most. And, I'm, you know, I don't go clubbing much these days. It's not really on my list of things to do. But a good bop and I'm happy, happy bunny because I think dancing is magical. I think it raises energy. I think it heals. I think it lifts the spirit. For, for me, it, it's just, yeah, one of life's essentials. Right, uh, a couple of bits of jewellery, more about jewellry. <laughs> Anderson kilt, I don't, I'll have to look up and find out what kilt, what type of tartan it is. It takes a long time though, doesn't it, because there's many of them. Uh, this is that kind of cat's eye um, acrylic. I think I've already got one of these listed so, and it hasn't sold it, so why I picked it up, I don't know. But it's a kind of a slightly purpley and slightly browny colour. Very unusual. Not my favourite shade, but I quite like those. And then I think I paid two pounds for that, and then I paid one pound for these. And I don't generally pick up stretchy bracelets, but they are real freshwater pearls, and they're all slightly different colours. There's this bluey one, silvery one, a slightly more goldy one, and another pewtery colour. So as a little set, I thought, you know, they're quite they're quite sweet. And they've got little gold beads in them, well gold tone beads in them as well. So it looks quite looks quite boho, quite fetching. Yes, exactly. Cheesy music. Obviously the right sort of cheesy music, but I mean I can't afford to be fussy these days. <laughs> I do like music from an awful lot of decades though. You know, it's not like I'm not like these people, and I, I know many of them are like, oh no, the 70s is my year, or, or oh no, I only like the 80s or the 90s. So I love music from all the decades, um, especially if it's good to dance to. Now, they, these, are, these are heels. I mean, good Lord, we are talking five, in, five inch heels. Holy moly. Um, they've got an inner platform on them because you really wouldn't be able to walk, you just tip over. But these are Badgley Mishka. And they're obviously wedding shoes. But as I have said, there are many weddings that are going to be coming up. These are in very good nick, clearly only been worn on the one occasion. But I knew it was a good brand because you can you can just see the quality of it. Now the sole. Now that's an American BAM. I think that will equate to around a six. But look at that bling. <laughs> Super blingy. Um Leather sold, obviously a decent. Well, yes, there is that. <laughs> mm, yes, but I think they're meant to be wedding shoes primarily. If someone wants them as bedroom shoes, then that's that's their business, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not going to judge. <laughs> but they are. I mean, good grief. But for the two pounds I paid for them, uh, I was more than happy. And it turns out these are hundreds of pounds new. Um, but they do have a resale value, and with all the weddings coming up, I suspect that somebody might well want them, especially as they're not an absolutely tiny size. But, I mean, how tall is that going to make you? Five inches on top of your current height. That would make me... I was going to say five... <laughs> I was going to say five foot fourteen, but that doesn't really work. they make me six foot two. <laughs> yes, six foot two, but immobile. I'm in danger of breaking my neck, so we had to have those because they are gorgeous. Oh, there's another receipt. So that really was the sort of bits I picked up lately. Like I say, rather thin on the ground. Um, not the most impressive haul you've ever seen from me, but it is what it is. Charity shops at the moment are getting a bit more ambitious with their pricing. They're, they're filling more of their shelves with the Christmas stuff. I mean, come on. We haven't even had Samhain yet, or Halloween, I should say. Um, and Christmas is everywhere. So it takes up shelf space. So it means there's less goodies of the other sorts, really. Um, 
yeah so here's hoping it perks up a bit before before the end of the year um i've had quite a few returns open because i've had some quite decent sales so of course the more you sell the more chance there is of returns particularly on clothes and tat yes it's christmas tat it's rubbish it's appalling um so yes i'm uh, I'm, I'm not I'm not enjoying the ambitious pricing of things, I have to say, but it's the low quality of stuff. I'm thinking, where's the nice stuff gone? Um, I'm hoping it'll make a reappearance. We've got no more boot fairs here now. We've got no, although there seem to be a couple of jumble sales coming up, but I think they're going to be ramming. And I'm not sure I want to play that game. I'm not sure I want to travel a long way, stand outside for an hour and a half and... Um, <laughs> You know, literally uh, get in there and find that I can't, I can't cope with it. And I'm just like, I'm out. Oh, Becky's here. Which is in? Hello, lovely. Yes, we we have got which is in tonight. Um, yes, I <laughs> get myself sorted for that too. Uh, so, hope you're well, Becky. We do need to chat because we need to make arrangements about the weekend too. Um, yes. So, thank you everyone for joining me. That was a quick twenty minutes, wasn't it? But. Um, I've shown you all that I can. I haven't got anything else to show you. It's nothing legal anyway. So, take good care of yourselves. Hope you have more luck tap hunting than I've had. And I will see you all soon. <laughs> bye bye now. I'm going to end the broadcast and I'm still rubbish at it. Yes, I will. Bye.